Hey everybody, Shama32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to the sixth episode and finale of season two of Good Omens. It's the finale already. Like, I love being able to watch it all, but also like releasing it week to week makes it drag out, makes it last a bit longer, you know? The fact that it's, it's bittersweet because I know, as I said in the previous reaction, like the end of the previous reaction, this is kind of like meant to be like a stopgap between the first season, the original book, and the book idea that Terry and Neil had for a second book. So we could have a season three, but we don't know if we are getting a season three. And the idea of not having more after this is upsetting. It is upsetting not having more of these guys. Of all these characters, new characters and the boys, of course, everybody. Like, it's heartbreaking. <laughs> but not having more of these guys. Why am I crying? I know it's gone midnight now, but that's no fucking excuse. That last episode, I had it, I said at the beginning of it, I had a plan of what this weekend, because it was Saturday after the, after the episode was released, or the season was released. And I had a plan, right, right, I'm going to do my other one. I'm going to do Classic Doctor Who. I'm going to do Episode 5, Classic Doctor Who, What We Do in the Shadows, and Red Dwarf. And then I watched Episode 5, and I'm like, I've got to do Episode 6. I've got to do Episode 6 now. I've got to watch it. I've got, I, I've got, I need to know. I need to know what's going to happen when Crowley goes up the heaven with Muriel, who I adore. What's going to happen in the bookshop? Is Shax just going to go fuck it and do it and not wait? And then get in trouble, hopefully, if that happens. What's going to happen with Aziraphale, Nina and Maggie in the shop? Are they going to drag the other people out of the other shops and start killing them? We don't know. What's going to happen with Jim? Because he said Gabriel is everywhere now because he put it in the matchbox and then he took it out and put it in the box that he bought here. Aziraphale looked in the box, there's nothing there. But he said it's now everywhere. So is it everywhere? And idiot me kept forgetting the fact that the reason the the angels couldn't recognise him as Gabriel or even remember him is because the protection spell, like really fucking protect good protection spell. Killed by love. Cause even Nina sees it. Nina said they were a couple. And the way Crowley walked off after she said that is like, oh, 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 hang on a minute. Like he's like just been confronted by his feelings that he hadn't not acknowledged. Hadn't even thought about it, hadn't realised, you know? Like, you've gone, well, wait, what? And then, oh, fuck. Like, feel it. It was like, almost, it was kind of like that. And then, of course, we had a Fez. We all know doctors cannot walk past a Fez, because Fezes are cool. I love that. I love the fact that he, he had to put on the Fez. He had to, he had to, didn't he? Now, it looks like Xerophil's about to talk to Metatron. Which is going to be interesting. I would love to see Derek Jack be back again. Because he's an absolute legend and icon. And plus, technically, the master. He was the master. So it's a shame that uh, Crowley's not going to be down there too. Because he could have a, a scene reunion between those two. Um, I'm nervous about what's going to happen. Like, Nina and Maggie tell what was going on or they knew something was up like the spell of what zero will put on everybody else what he should have fucking done he should not have controlled everybody else just to make those two feel in love because i because if they found out afterwards they'd be like oh hang on is what we have real it isn't real oh no i can't do this and he could have split them up and ruined everybody's lives but he was like he's Ugh. and then we got jim i don't want to lose jim I want Muriel to end up helping because I love Muriel, but I love, I think my, Xerophil's my favourite TV character of all time. He is, and he still is. And obviously, of course, I love and adore Crowley. How could I not? He's Crowley. He's amazing. But I think behind Xerophil, even though, again, I adore Crowley this season. I know it's David Tennant, but it isn't just because it's David Tennant, you know? I adore Crowley, but I love, I adore Jim. I think Jim's my second favourite this season. I just, I love him. Like, John Hamm's performance as Jim has been incredible. 
because like he we've in the little the glimpses of Gabriel we've seen this season all through the previous ones you know he can be menacing as hell and like a lot of people said he'd make a good Bruce Wayne John Hamm would make a brilliant Bruce Wayne he's got the jawline he would be good he could be menacing but he's so sweet and innocent and he needs and deserves to be protected just because he was Gabriel doesn't mean you should destroy what he now is it's not fair it's not fair and like his performance and like it's been incredible and the way he just like going i'm going out there it's like going okay, I'm, I'm not i'm not gonna let him kill these other people i could if if me going out there dying will save these other people yeah okay he just he just went and did it and they didn't believe him because of the spell which sucks but it doesn't suck because it means he's still with us at least for a bit now, if Gabriel does come back, that I hope he will remember what Aziraphale did, what he was like, his experiences, learning about Earth, meeting Maggie and Nina and everybody else and things like that. I hope you remember. And then hopefully it will change him and realise, what have I been doing all this time? I've not been a good person. What heaven is doing is not right. I'm hoping... He if he, Gabriel does come back, that Jim's essence or, or what Jim has become will still be in there. I hope Jim is still in there. Now, it's another side note. I don't think I said it last time. I meant to say it either before or after the, the episode last time. But I put it in my community tab. I don't know. Word. Hang on. If I manage to get these episodes on the d episodes out on the day I mean to, like every other every day, episode six should fall on the this episode should fall on the Wednesday. And now I put up on my community tab that I decided what game I was going to play because I've got to be careful what I play on stream live. I've got to be careful what I do because I'll be moving at some point in August. I put up that I decided I was going to play Sherlock Holmes: The Devil's Daughter. It might seem random, but if you go to the community tab post, you'll find, you'll pop, like, even without reading, you'll probably know which post I'm referring to, because when I've announced the games, so I like put up a picture, right? And with my previous ones, I put up a picture with the title in, so people can know, okay, that's what that game is. I went to do that, but then I found another picture of the Sherlock Holmes from that game. Now, if you go down and scroll to that picture, you will see that he looks like, in that image, he looks like... And actually, in the other images, even the promotional ones for that game, he looks like a certain archangel. Literally, if they do a film adaptation or TV adaptation or one of those games, they need to have John Hamm play him because it is scarily like him. Like, he, like I'm wondering when I play it, is it actually going to be John Hamm playing him type thing, you know? It is like, did they use his face as a basis? It is. He looks like G John Hamm. He looks like Gabriel. It's weird. Ah, I had to get it out of the way because I meant to say it at the beginning of the last one or the end of the last one, but I'm nervous because, like, like I said, this could be the last good omens we get. Uh, we got the graphic novel coming out, which I intend to get. I intend to bat that because this looks freaking cool. And I like the idea of graphic novels that make it easier for my mind to process type thing because my mind works in stupid fucking ways. But this could be the last on-screen good omens we get. It could be. Like, I think this show's successful. It deserves, like, it's loved. Michael and David are loved. Especially together. And you get John Hamm in there. You've got Francis McDormand as God. You, got su you can get such cool cast in there. They should do a third one. Round it out. Do it as for Terry as well. But this, because we, I don't think we've had a conf confirmation of season three. They might wait until a week after or so after this to let everybody watch it and then go, bam, oh yeah, we are doing a season three. I'm hoping that's going to happen. But because we haven't had that, as far as I know, this could be the last ever on-screen Good Omens. And I'm terrified now. Um, I haven't replied to the comments on episode two yet. But I've seen that you guys said, like, oh, it's going to be an emotional roller coaster because Michael Sheen made me freaking cry. He always does, but he really made me cry. Like, I was shook after watching that one. 
that ending bit with it. Oh my god, that music as well. Wow. I always loved the soundtrack for season one, but this this season's been fantastic with the music. But like I've I've got tissues. I've got ones I've already semi wiped my eyes with previously. And I've got a whole I'm unprepared. I've got a whole roll. Literally, I just went, there's a bathroom down there. So I literally went in, took it. Damn. I'm prepared. Because like I'm I'm terrified. Like you guys have been amazing. We're not putting spoilers. You've been amazing. And the fact that so many people seem to be liking watching these episodes and subscribing is insane. Like, in just one day, since I've posted episode one, I've, I was at like 455, 456, kind of hovering around that number, going up and down a bit. 456 was the highest I'd got, right? And it was going like down a few, up a few, that kind of thing. And it was just like, at 500, you could, they've, YouTube have now got it, you can start doing things with the channel can't get like money from adverts or anything like that but it's like kind of like a semi thing and like i do not sure if i was going to get there for like months and then all of a sudden i've had like i think last time i looked it was like 519 people it's insane because you and like the likes on episode one last time i looked are more likes than I believe than any other video I've had and I've got no you guys can't see the dislikes but at this moment I just started watching the last episode I had no dislikes on it either which is like bleh. anything that I've done so far that has like been up there kind of up there, like I've only ever had like less than 50 I think in likes and there's always been one or two dislikes at that height you know like it's just you guys seem to be liking me react to this which is crazy. So like it's like going okay. I've got like obviously I'm busy with like all my other shows at the moment as well. With classic Doctor Who, what we do in the shadows, Red Dwarf, and Blake Seven, and whenever our flying stuff comes back. But I feel like I need to watch something else of this kind of feel. For you guys as well might not be till September when I've moved and settled in. My daughter's back at school, but we'll see. If you can't tell, I'm delaying starting this because I'm really I'm sad because it could possibly be the last ever Good Omens and I'm kind of scared of what's going to happen. I am scared. Like, I'm surprised my hands aren't shaking. I'm scared. I don't want this to be the last time you see our boys and our girls now as well with Maggie and Nina. I hope if we do have a season three, I hope, I'm hope, oh, I'm terrified we're going to lose one of them. But I hope we get them back. And Muriel as well. I want Muriel as well. And I, I want Jim. At least a combination of Gabriel and Jim fighting on the grey area or the different shades of grey. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Are we going to see God? Can we see God? Because there's a reason we got the Metatron, but then God was talking to Job and I'm waffling on because I'm delaying again. I'm so sorry. I've already been talking for like 13 and a half minutes. We need to get started. Um, if you enjoy the reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Why am I saying it? That there is no new other episode. Ah! Try again. What am I going to say? That goes automatic. If you enjoy the reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And give the notification bell a tick. Fuck it. I'm so nervous. I, and because that's so routine, I don't know what to say. Again, let's try again. If you enjoyed the reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when my next video goes live. I'll do. <laughs> let's get going with the reaction to the finale. In three, two, one, let's go. Oh, that does. Great, and there's now a little baby moth going around. I've got phobia of moths. They've got, they've got to be wondering, what the hell? How did you do that? If I hear one, of course. Uh, this way, please, Jim. What is happening? Why is everything so weird? This all started last week when the power went out, didn't it? Three questions, none of them simple. But to answer your last mm -hmm. one... No, this all started a very long time ago. But also, yes. <laughs> so why were we all dancing? Because he made you. And then you'd fall in love with her. 
It all looks so simple in Jane Austen. Jane Austen? Oh, yes, the uh, brains behind the 1810 Clerkenwell diamond robbery. <laughs> oh, no, she's coming in. Now, don't you let us in, whether you like it or not. I'm not. He's got to show himself to them, hasn't he? I like that. Nina's rolling her shoulders, getting herself ready. Ready to fight. She doesn't know what's going on, but she's ready. No, I, I can't. You're a demon. I can't just... Do you know how much trouble I'll get into for this? Oh, Muriel's so sweet. Is Muriel going to be down with them after this? I'd like that. Is it even faintly possible that an unauthorised demon might be just wandering around in heaven unescorted? Please. <laughs> yeah, but you don't look like a bee. You look like, That's like true. a murder hornet. Or... I like what she said. Bees. Right. Your office. I'll follow you. Oh, what is he walking like then? It's so funny. <laughs> oh, don't you chuck that rubbish at her. Oh, he's protecting her. You lot are ridiculous. We are the legions of the damned. We are invincible. You might be invincible, but you're still stuck out there and we're in here. You don't frighten me. That's it, Nina. And that's not Nina. Fuck, I'm getting confused now. Maggie! I had brothers. You don't scare me by making faces. I love her. I'm done with being scared. Please, Maggie. Yes, please, Maggie. Please don't embarrass yourself in front of the woman you pathetically love. She's not embarrassing herself. She's braver than anyone I know. Oh, so cute. You are unloved and unlovable. She's not unlovable. God, you lot are pathetic. You want to come in here and say that to my face? I love her. I love her. Come on, quickly, go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Aziraphale, protect them, please. Maggie, what just happened? I, I, I think I might have just told them they could oh, come Oh, God, in. she did, didn't she? I am perfectly prepared to take defensive action should it become I necessary. I didn't realise she said that. Back. Are they going to realise what he is? Give him back. Oh. I have to tell you, you can all leave now and nobody will be hurt. He's like, no, oh, fuck off. Yeah, again. <laughs> How many times has that character been killed over the two seasons? Oh. I fucking love Maggie even more now. She's so badass. And she's not unlovable. She's freaking awesome. Nina's awesome too. And so's Muriel and Jim. Everybody's fucking awesome. A halo. Oh. We've not seen any halos. Not like stereotypical angel halos. Okay. Okay. Crowley couldn't quite get himself in white again, could he? Or th then again, they're in grey. Are they going to recognise him? Nice office. It's a bit lonely. That was why Aww. I was so pleased when they said I finally had a job on Earth. Don't you, you ever see anyone? You are so anyone? sweet. Yeah. Well, every few hundred years, someone comes and asks me for something. She's been on her own for th a hundred years, several hundred years. I'm helping you, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, Muriel. Well then, let's make it worthwhile. What have you got on Gabriel? Come on, if you're gonna do it, do it properly. He's like, I've already done it. Fuck it, might as well carry on. It's all confidential. I can't show it to you. I mean, I couldn't open it if I wanted to. I don't have clearance. You'd have to be a okay. throne or a dominion or above. There's thrones and dominions in. How does she do that? I haven't always been a demon, and they never changed. Oh. What rank did he have before? I know there's a theory that he's Raphael. Is it Raphael people are theorizing? I'm, I'm misremembering. Get there! Oh. Uh, don't cross over because they'll get discorporated, wouldn't they? Or sent up to heaven. That's, I remember, yeah, because that's why he ended up in heaven. Getting sent up to heaven, Crowley thought he was dead. Yeah, but demons can't go up, are they? Forever. Even demons aren't that stupid. Are you sure about that? Well, that was it. I didn't have another bit. <laughs> He's loving it. Oh, I love him. He's so cute. But if you step into it and you are prepared, it can discorporate you completely. Does what you say make sense in your head? Yeah, it makes sense. 
Everything ends. Time and the world is over. Oh, fuck. Nah. Oh. Nah. Yep. He didn't want to end it. Nah to the final victory of heaven on earth. Sorry, just oh. not seeing it this time. Pass. And Did they, all the other angels do this to him? I am the only first order archangel in the room, or, you know, the universe. Okay. Armageddon, the sequel, that's a nah. Why though? The cleaning roster. Okay. What have you got? I think we've struck no. Yeah. Did the other angels do this to him? I'm so fucking confused. Come on, girls, you got it. Don't get too cocky, please. We're gonna run out. There. up here. Nice one, Maggie. Get it. Why all the fire extinguishers? Uh, well, there was a fire here once. Yes, there was. Burnt everything down. So Gabriel okay. refused point blank to entertain another. Yeah, Armageddon. why though? Why did he refuse? Sorry, he was tall. No, it doesn't. Not yet. They had a sort of trial. It was a real trial. Look at that. Hello, Crowley. I didn't expect to ever see you again. Okay. Do we know each other? When you were an angel, we worked together on the Horsehead Nebula. I meet a lot of people. <laughs> As you're a faith, what are you? Crowley's emotional support, angel. The softest. Aw, Jim, do not, now it's not time to laugh. Give him to us now. Sometimes people call me Gabriel. Shh. And tell He's that so moron sweet. to Just shut up. Interrupt him. Jim, go, go to your room. You'll be safer though. Okay. Good night. Uh, does anybody want any hot chocolate? He's so sweet. I love Jim. I want to know what the hell they did to Gabriel. Make it very slippery. What's the trial going to be? What did they do for, to Gabriel? And you are henceforth removed from office. I see. You're casting me down to hell. Well, I accept my fate. Sometimes an angel just has to say, God, why though? enough. But why him? This is not what he was like in the first season. For one prince of heaven to be cast into the outer darkness makes a good story. For it to happen twice makes it look like there is some kind of institutional... Yeah, okay. It took me a second then. Which, needless to say, there isn't. You will, Did I am sure, about you an institutional be problem, to didn't he? remain an angel. Although He's still an angel? Kindness, your memory of your time as Gabriel will be erased. Oi. You will be okay. demoted. So he's still an angel? 38th class. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. I'm 37th class. So he's still an angel as Jim. I see. Well, all good things. Uh, just one thing. These clothes are tailored. Can I keep wearing them? Appropriate raiment okay. will be provided for you, Gabriel. These clothes? Are not appropriate. Yeah, but why did he change his mind on it all? I'll just need a, uh... Box. I'll be right back. That's the box. It's, it's to do with that box. You need to get it to that box. Okay, what did he do with the box? And what's the... What about the matchbox? And why is that other one there with them? Okay. But he had clothes there. And now he's not. <laughs> so he purposely dropped... Oh, did he purposely drop it then? He dropped it. Doors closing. Going down. Oh, poor Jim. Oh, they're watching now. Oh no, it's still part of that, okay. Keeping him. I believe he's taking off his clothes and cleaning out his desk. Really? He doesn't have a desk. I don't trust him. Can we begin the memory wipe now? He oh he put his own memory in there. I can't I can't find his memory anywhere. In fact, I can't find him in the building. He's left heaven. Should I sound an alert? Oh, don't be so wet. No, you're all just going to have to find him. What is going on with Gabriel? Is his mind in that thing? They need Gabriel to come back, though, unfortunately. It's sad. I don't want Jim to go. I haven't done this since the Great War. It's something 
we're only meant to do when we're actually on a wartime footing. Oh. What's he going to do with it? What's he going to do? Removing that's not going to make him not an angel anymore, is it? What's that going to do? Oh, I hope Azir feels okay, because where did his halo go? Is he not an angel anymore? I think... I may have just started a war. Well, fuck it up. I think your friend just declared war on hell. This could get very messy. Oh, right. oh Come shit. Come on, let's get back there. You too. Oh, we've got to find the matchbox. The matchbox. Oh, they're going down too. Nice. Anybody here? Who came back? With them. I did the thing with the halo. You what? I did the thing with the halo. You, you blew up your halo. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, hell won't Oh, that. dear. No, they won't. Whoa. Oh, shit. Here they come. Oh, no, Xerophil. What have you done? Nice job, Shax. <laughs> Beautifully done. Remind me to put in for your commendation. Oh, dear, love. Sarcasm. Yes? Yep. <laughs> I'm afraid so. Oh dear, Shucks is in trouble. If it is to be war... No, 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 no war. Aziraphale, let's sort this out. Where's the cardboard box? The one Gabriel arrived with. Gabriel? They still can't see him. Sometimes people call me Gabriel. Yeah, we did a thing, hiding miracle. Apparently if we do a miracle together, it all works a bit too well. Careful. Hey. Okay. Don't be a trap. It's a cardboard box. It's not going to bite you. <laughs> I like that one. That angel. Can't pronounce the name there. Whoa! That wasn't in there before. I'm in oh, the fly. I knew there was a fly! What was I doing? You were writing a message. Oh, probably to yourself. <laughs> on the bottom of the box. There was a fly! I knew I saw the fly! Lord Beelzebub. I believe flies are your department. I knew I saw the fly! I'm so freaking happy I got I saw that! There's only one fly here, and it's familiar. There he is. Come here. Come on. I knew I saw a fly in the box. I knew that had something to do with it. I'm so pleased with myself. I wonder nobody could find okay. you. This is where you were keeping all your... Don't you dare crush him. You're perfect. Here. Take it. Okay. Gently. I love Jim. I really love Jim. Open it. I don't want to say goodbye to Jim. Please don't. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck no. I don't want to say goodbye to Jim. Ten million angels to stand down from their war footing is doesn't bear thinking about. You should try to get ten million hey, days to put this. down their weapons and go back to work. I do miss work. her this season. They're amazing. She was amazing. Hey. But why did he change his mind on everything? New face. I had the old one for 6,000 years. I just thought it was time for a change. I don't know who you are. Come on, it's me. Beelzebub. Lord of the Flies. Okay. Have you see Anna? Oh, gross. Are they working together? Why did you want to meet me here? Well, if we're going to have background talks, they can't be in oh. any of our home territories. And... Okay, were they working together? I'm a bloody Geddon. That was a complete okay. and utter pain in the ass. I know, but we are ready for round two. Utterly ready. Armageddon, here we come. Armageddon. Armageddon. <laughs> I love him. Everyone in heaven is all like, well, you're the commander in chief. Can't you just make the war happen anyway? Like, I make the rules. <laughs> That's exactly okay. what my lot said. Are they both working together? What the hell? And they I met up again? The, the song. This is the, the resurrectionist. Most of my demons live for Armageddon, if you can call that living. Well, my angels too, but you can't always get what you live for. Advantages to know Armageddon? We keep the status quo static and... <laughs> no one could ever know, of course. Of course. Whoa. Okay, so they're working together. I like it. 
contains information in a tuneful way. Okay. Every day something is getting closer. Armageddon. Not then, anymore. Then I also like it. Is there something between them two? Because quite frankly, I kind of see it. 